Today, I'm going to answer this trig questions of how to use the sum to product formula to find the solutions of the equation. So here's the sum to product formula that we're looking for because we have a cosine of 5x <clears throat> plus a cosine of 7x, which means that for us, our alpha is 5x because the first one is cosine of 5x and then our beta is 7x. And when we plug this into the formula, we get that the cosine of 5x plus 7x, whoops, plus the cosine of 7x, is 2 times the cosine. Now I'm going to do alpha plus beta, which is 12x divided by 2 is 6x times the cosine, and now I'm going to do alpha minus beta, or 5 mi 5x minus 7x, which is minus 2x over 2 is minus x. Now, because cosine is an even function, that means that the cosine of negative x is just equal to the cosine of positive x. So I am going to substitute this in for this. Now, my equation started off cosine of 5x plus cosine of 7x. So here's where we started. So I'm going to replace this with 2 cosine of 6x times cosine of x. And that's supposed to equal this, the cosine of x. So I could divide. Oh, no, we don't ever want to divide here. Let's subtract a cosine x from both sides. So now I have 2 cosine of 6x times the cosine of x minus the cosine of x. And that equals 0. And then I can factor out a cosine of x and factor it just like you would if you were in an algebra class. So when we have two factors in algebra, we say either the first factor is 0 and cosine is 0 when x is 0. So that's one of our solutions. Or we could say that 2 times the cosine of 6x minus 1 equals 0. And so then we have 2 times the cosine of 6x equals 1. Divide both sides by 2. So we are looking for x's that cause the cosine to equal a half. Now, instead of letting this just be a fit, uh, calculations thing, I think it helps to see a picture. So come with me to board two. This graph is the graph of y equals the cosine of 6x. Notice a regular cosine has a period of 2 pi. The 6 here means that our frequency is 6, which means we need to fit 6 cosine, whole cosine cycles in one regular cosine cycle. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we want to know when does the cosine of 6x, when does it equal a half? Well, here's a picture with one half marked off right here. This is y 
equals one half. Notice that we have not one answer, not two answers, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve answers from zero to two pi. And if this thing goes on forever, if you're not limiting your answers to between zero and two pi, then we have an infinite number of answers. Now, let's go back and figure out what they are. So, um, if I let 6x, if I let theta equal 6x, then all I have is the cosine of theta where does it equal a half? Well, either you've memorized it or you've made a unit circle where this is one, this is one, this is negative one, this is negative one. If the cosine is a half, that's the short side of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The long side is the square root of three over two. That would be the sine. And that makes this pi over three or 60 degrees. It's also one half if you're down here, and that is one pi over three, two pi over three, three, four. This is at five pi over three. Now, if all I had was a single cosine between zero and two pi, here's a half, these would be my two solutions. But back to here, I have the cosine of six pi, and I have 12 solutions, and they are one here, 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 here. All 12 of these are solutions between zero and two pi. So let's figure them out. We know that, excuse me, we know that theta has to equal pi over three, or you could go around the loop as many times as you wanted by adding two pi n to it, where n is our arbitrary integer, or theta is five pi over three, And if you want to go around more than once, you would add 2 pi n to it. Well, since we're in pi over threes, I think it would be best if we multiply top and bottom by three and made this six pi over three, just because it's easier to add fractions that way. We'll make this two pi, six pi over three. And now we weren't looking for theta, we were looking for x. And right here, we let theta equal 6x. So this equals 6x and this equals 6x, which means if you divide both sides by six, you will get that x equals pi over 18 plus 6 pi over 18 n. And then from the 5 pi over 3, we get that x equals um, 5 pi when we divide both sides by 6. Only I'm not simplifying the fraction because it's easier to add fractions with like denominators. So this is going to be 5 pi over 18 plus 6 pi over 18. And so there's your answers. And since your teacher wants it in a 
comma separated list, it would look like this. X equals zero. Now, if your teacher wants you to simplify the fraction, then this is going to be pi over 18 plus pi over 3. Maybe we should say n pi over 3. And this is going to be 5 pi over 18 plus n pi over 3. And there's your comma separated list of all the solutions. If you want just the ones between um, 0 and 2 pi, then just use n equals 0, n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4, whoops, and n equals 5, and that'll get you all 12. <laughs> Thank you.